What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, keeping you up to date with the latest Destiny 2 news and information. And today, the day before the Destiny 2 beta officially launches, we've already got some sweet new Destiny 2 info. Now this is because there's an event going on right now currently in London called the, I think, Destiny 2 Beta Experience, where certain people were invited out to go and play the beta early. So we've already got some screenshots leaking from there and we're going to be talking specifically in this video about brand new information involving the Destiny 2 weapon system and this is huge information because we've been kept relatively in the dark over the past several months involving the Destiny 2 weapons by the virtue of the fact that we have not been able to go in and inspect weapons period. During the world premiere event and during E3, you could simply hover over your weapons, but you weren't able to go in and inspect their perk layouts and so on. So we haven't really had a huge idea of how these things worked in game until now, because finally we've got a screenshot of this exact thing I was describing. Now credit goes to Reddit user Irene RR4 for describing his experiences and this is the screenshot I'm talking about. It is the does not compute legendary, as you can see from the icon in the upper left corner, got the purple background, scout rifle. Now, let's break down everything that's going on here, because there's a lot. There's weapon perks, weapon mod slots, there's a bunch of info down in the right hand corner. What the heck is happening? Well, for the weapon perks, this is probably the most important part, because if you've been keeping up to date with the news, you'll know that weapon perks have had a huge change in Destiny 2. No longer are they randomized like they are in Destiny, but they have, according to Luke Smith, the lead designer of Destiny 2, perk rules that are set in stone. So, the weapon perks that you're seeing for this does not compute scout rifle are going to be the same exact weapon perks that you get every single time. That is very important. Now the pros of that system, very quickly, are that firstly it should improve balance. You won't have a bunch of IS Lunas and Palindrome God Rolls just running amok and then every other hand can is pretty subpar. Whereas now because of, you know, customized perk rolls, you should have a lot more, you know, this is part of the second benefit, diversity, both in PvP and in PvE. It'll also reduce the grind. Uh, the negative is that it will reduce the grind and the fact that will you be motivated to play as much if you get something and you just get it. There's no grind for the God Roll, make no mistake that was a big part of Destiny 1. So that's just kind of a very quick explanation of that very complicated and big topic. But, again, what you're seeing right now will be the same for every single does not compute. And first off, a very good thing, there's actually some choices within this dedicated perk role. I was under the impression that you were going to get one dedicated role and that was it. One site that you couldn't change all the perks you couldn't change and that was just the gun. But here we're clearly seeing there is some customization. You can choose between three different sites. Now yes, they're going to be the same three sites every time, but it's going to be nice to be able to, okay, I'm playing PvP. I want to put on my short range red dot site. And then you're moving into a strike. Maybe you want to put on your long range scope, which is going to increase your range. That's a really good thing, honestly, and even in the middle slot, we see two different perks that you can choose between. This will also hopefully come up. If you have another scout rifle that you can choose between, well, firstly, something like full auto, then you're obviously going to probably want to use that if you're going into PvP, but then maybe you can also choose triple tap instead, and that's going to be better for PvE. So that is a really cool system. Yes, they're dedicated roles, but you still have customization. And then the last perk, it does seem that that's just one perk and you can't change it. Now, very importantly, we've got something going on with the very first weapon perk. Now, that looks very different than everything else. Well, this is the intrinsic perk. Now, this we've seen examples of over and over again just with the weapon displays, the limited weapon displays that we've seen currently. Lightweight is an intrinsic perk. I remember like aggressive 
for rocket launchers and other intrinsic perks that you're seeing in the background right now. They're highlighted when you go over your weapon, they seem to be very important. Now according to this Reddit user, these can actually change. Your intrinsic perk can actually be randomized. So the does not compute, again, will have the same perks, but the intrinsic perk will change. Maybe one time it'll have aggressive, and then another time it'll have lightweight. So this is still adding a huge degree of grinding into the mix. It won't be as severe, but you're still going to be trying to get the best intrinsic perk for what you want to do. And obviously, certain intrinsic perks are going to be better for certain activities. You're going to want, you know, an intrinsic perk dedicated to a PvP scout rifle in some scenarios, and then you're going to want to get a whole different version with an intrinsic perk dedicated for PvE. So that is a very interesting system if that is the case. And moving on from the perks, we've got a lot to discuss about what you've been seeing, what you've been looking at, weapon mods. What the heck is going on here? Well, apparently there's three different boxes that can appear here. Starting with the far right. The far right is actually shaders. So you can go over this slot and you can put on several different shaders for this weapon. Now, will the shaders come automatically with the gun, or will you unlock more shaders when you do certain activities? Like if you beat Iron Banner, if you win an Iron Banner round, could you get a weapon shader instead of just an armor shader? I hope so, and that's something that's been asked for forever, that would be totally awesome. Of course, the question comes up, will you get shaders like unlocked for any gun, or will you only get the shaders for the guns you were using during that uh, event? Like, who knows? That's a really sweet option. And we'll get to see how that really works in the beta, hopefully, and especially the full game. But moving to the left, we have the actual weapon mod slot. Now, this is on every single legendary, at least, weapon. You can choose several different weapon mods. Now there wasn't actually any options that you could choose at this event, so we didn't get any examples of what the heck weapon mods will be. But hopefully they're just things that, you know, increase stability by a little bit, increase magazine size by a little bit, just to add some more customization. Again, unfortunately we don't have any pure examples of what weapon mods will be, but this is the slot that they will go. But we do know today something brand new, is that there will actually be a third box in this section, and that is your elemental mod. Now this only appears on energy weapons, and again, it was a blank slate. You could just go over the elemental mod, and it was blank. You couldn't add anything. But logic would dictate that you could actually change the element of your guns with these elemental weapon mods. So if you get a elemental void hand cannon and you already got a really good void hand cannon and you don't want another one, well heck, get an arc weapon mod, equip that to your new hand cannon and boom. Now your favorite hand cannon can function no matter which burn playlist you're doing, which is totally awesome and again that's something completely new that we've learned today. So again, down in this section, there's going to be your weapon shader, your weapon mod, and if it's an energy weapon, your elemental mod. And that is it for all of the information surrounding this topic. So let's analyze this. What does this information mean for you and Destiny 2? Well, firstly, I have improved my viewpoint of the weapon system a lot just by seeing this. Because again, I didn't think there'd be as much customization with these dedicated roles as there turns out to actually be. Having multiple options for perks and sights, and then hopefully having a randomized intrinsic perk, and then on top of that, having your elemental mods and your weapon mods and your even your shaders, that's all a lot of customization. So that's all really good, and that's going to keep that huge factor within Destiny, which is the grind, right? Having pure dedicated roles would have removed that, and that was a very tricky subject. That was like, will that work? We didn't really know. I'm also really in pleased by the fact that we're seeing a legendary weapon, and this again is at some sort of beta event. So maybe they have these dedicated weapons at this event, but also maybe you can earn up to legendaries within the actual Destiny 2 beta. 
That would be awesome. Within the Destiny 1 beta, you could just go up to greens, and you could only see blues being sold by vendors, but you couldn't even use them. And so we didn't get a really good example of how the weapon system would work, and there was still a lot of questions going into the full game. So hopefully Destiny 2 will actually let us somewhat experience these weapons and the weapon system in the beta, because without that, I think Bungie would doing, be doing themselves a disservice. They wouldn't let us experiment with the gun system, and therefore they wouldn't let us actually test out all of these new changes. And so guys, that is it for this video, a look at how the weapons will be working in Destiny 2. A lot of exciting changes, and I can't wait to try it out in the beta. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, be sure to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCat. Backus. That's linked to the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.